Welcome back to Folity, your go-to channel for all the latest royal updates and exclusive insights into the lives of the British royal family. Today, we have an exciting lineup of stories, from Prince William's rugby rivalry with Princess Kate to Prince Harry's adventures at the 2023 Invictus Games in Germany and even a touching tribute to Queen Elizabeth on the anniversary of her passing. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and join us on this royal journey. Our first story takes us to Bordeaux, France, where Prince William recently attended the Rugby World Cup 2023 group stage match between Wales and Fiji. Now, this might seem like a regular royal appearance, but there's a twist. Prince William is a staunch supporter of the Welsh rugby team, while his wife, Kate Middleton, cheers for England. It's a classic case of a household divided by rugby loyalties. This division stems from their respective patronages. William is the patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, while Kate is the patron of the Rugby Football Union and Rugby Football League, governing rugby in England. The Queen herself redistributed these roles in 2022, following Prince Harry's step back from his royal duties. Prince William's support for Wales goes beyond sports. It's a way to strengthen his ties to the country where he and Kate lived for the early years of their marriage. Plus, with King Charles naming William as the Prince of Wales after Queen Elizabeth's passing, there's added significance to his support for the Welsh team. This royal rivalry doesn't stop at attending matches. Prince William and Princess Kate have brought their son, Prince George, to games in the past, and it's clear that their passion for their respective teams runs deep. Now, shifting our focus to the future, King Charles and Queen Camilla are gearing up for a visit to Bordeaux, France, just weeks after Prince William's appearance. This visit, initially planned for March but postponed due to protests, aims to celebrate the shared history, culture, and values between the UK and France. Charles and Camilla will embark on a three-day journey from September 20th to September 22nd, which will mark Charles's 35th official visit to France and Camilla's ninth. The highlight of their trip will be a dazzling state banquet at the Palace of Versailles, an iconic location in French history. Additionally, they'll tour an organic vineyard in Bordeaux and be part of the festivities surrounding the Rugby World Cup, a tournament that Prince William and Princess Kate are proudly supporting. I'm... Now let's dive into the world of Prince Harry and the 2023 Invictus Games in Germany. The Duke of Sussex, who founded the Invictus Games in 2014, was in Germany for the event's opening ceremony. Not only did he deliver an inspiring speech about self-discovery and teamwork, but he also took on a soccer challenge on a German TV show. His attempts to score were met with both cheers and laughter from the audience, and he even received a scarf from a local German club as a good-spirited consolation prize. Prince Harry's connection with the athletes and veterans at the Invictus Games runs deep, given his own military background. The event, now in its sixth cycle, welcomes competitors from 21 countries and six continents, showcasing their skills in 10 different sports. Harry's dedication to this cause is evident, and he's even shared the spotlight with his wife, Meghan Markle, at previous Invictus Games. Speaking of Meghan, there's exciting news on that front, too. Meghan Markle is set to join Prince Harry in Germany for the Invictus Games shortly after the Games begin. This dynamic duo has been strong supporters of the Invictus Games since they made their public debut as a couple at the 2017 Games in Toronto. Meghan's involvement has continued, and her presence adds a special touch to the event. Before we wrap up today's video, let's take a moment to remember Queen Elizabeth on the anniversary of her passing. Prince Harry, who was unable to attend the Wellchild Awards last year due to the Queen's passing, spoke at this year's event, emphasizing the importance of continuing the incredible work of the charity. He also made a private visit to the Queen's burial site, a poignant moment of reflection. Meanwhile, King Charles and Prince William, along with Princess Kate, participated in a touching service at St. David's Cathedral in Wales, commemorating the one-year anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's passing. This emotional tribute underscores the enduring legacy of the beloved monarch. 
And there you have it, our Royal Roundup for today. From rugby rivalries to inspiring Invictus Games moments and heartfelt tributes to Queen Elizabeth, the British royal family continues to captivate us with their stories. Stay tuned to Folity for more exciting updates on the royals, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for all things royal. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.